All right, so I got my trailer kind of ground down in some spots. I'm gonna go over and grind the full thing, mainly because I don't think it's good to kind of have, you know, especially rust like this under new paint that I'm gonna put on it, because if I put new paint over that, it's just gonna rust under it to some degree. So I'm gonna go through and grind everything down, see what I got after that. But here's kind of what I was talking about with my back springs. The spring is in good shape just a little rusty but this right here this, uh, this bushing yeah it's uh, no good I mean you can kind of tell when I it doesn't really want to buckle like it should so I'm probably gonna need to redo that as well but other than that springs mostly fine I think I am gonna go through and replace these bolts those look pretty bad as well but other than that leaf springs are all in good condition these u-bolts are just fine no deep rust you can even see it's just a tiny bit of surface rust under there but other than that they're pretty good okay i've spent pretty much all morning on this thing i've done infinite amounts of grinding all over the frame stuff all up and down all over the whole thing to get as much rust off as I can and there is a lot still on there but uh, most of it came off uh, most of it I just used my grinding wheel here all around up here too and I just used my grinder with my grinding wheel but I had to kind of go to the store and I got this wheel here this you know like kind of like a wire brush but on a wheel and that's been really helpful to get up kind of in the crannies like that and up on these older welds that I can't really get to like that and that. So that's helping bust a lot of my rust off. And I've been soaking my, my lug nuts every few hours with some of the uh, WD-40 to kind of See if I can loosen them up before I try and take these wheels off and then I'm going to take the leaf springs off and redo the bushings in the back which I ordered but the wire brush was especially helpful because I didn't want to uh, take my grinder to the leaf springs here or the axle because I didn't want especially not the axle because I did not want to throw off balance either single one of them because that's going to make the trailer you know do the death wobble thing and so i didn't want to do that so that's why i got the wire wheel which really did help it quite a bit and then uh just out of curiosity to see how the frame was going to paint up i took a little bit of paint and sprayed it on and definitely going to need a couple coats when i do the whole thing but it looks pretty good, and I have a old, couple old 2x8s uh, here from where I helped my neighbor redo his trailer. And I cut them all and put them up there, but I only had enough to go to about right there, which is not enough to cover the whole trailer. So I did go and got another one. So... It, look, it does look, I think it's come along pretty good and looking pretty good. I went up here earlier and uh, cut this, this chain off. And I think I'm going to cut my, right there where that line is, is where I'm going to cut the hitch off and try and fix that. I found a place in El Reno that, can sell, that sells steel for some other projects I'm going to do. I'll go ahead and got a vise that I'm going to weld on probably about right here. Now one thing I am thinking about doing is taking a hinge and welding it right here with a piece of metal that will swing down. And then that way when I have, you know, loads on this end with the vise or whatever, my trailer won't pick up on its front end. I know just a word of thought, I think it might be, might be worth it. And then I also today tried to come in here and do some
cleaning up. It's, you know, still pretty dirty, but it does look a lot better. See, there's the rest of my boards that I cut for my, uh, uh, my trailer there. I'll have them all labeled, you know, like one, two, and three, and then I put the H with the, with the arrow up as towards, that's where the hitch would be. Because the frame was a little bent out in spots, so I just had to cut some a little bit shorter than others. And then I came back here, and I removed all my paneling and put it in a big pile. This fence is all still up, but I had a panel that would run right through here along the edge of the building so that nothing could come up and slip their foot up under the tin. And it ran all the way along there. I took all that off, which was pretty, pretty, pretty easy to do, but it needed to be done. Had time, so I did it. But then you guys were asking about my, uh, my bed box here. So, I mean, here it is. This is a little bit dirty right now. I mean, the whole, whole truck is kind of dirty right now, but I repainted it all up and got it in there. I went ahead and left the chrome on there. I think it looks kind of good. I don't have a whole lot in it right now. It's just uh, some jumper cables and a tie down strap, some tennis shoes, or not a tie down strap, a uh, toe strap. I don't have any like ratchet straps or anything in there. I don't have any of those, but and I don't know if it's gonna show up on the camera, but you can see right up in there, the, uh, maybe I can, I can't see my phone what I'm looking at, but you can see the strap to where you hook it up to the box and then up to the bed to where then you don't have to drill into your truck bed to put your box on so it's removable. My other, uh, two by eight there the trailer was seven and four inches long so I had to get a two by two by eight by sixteen to cover the rest of it but it's all right just a little bit longer than you know probably what you should be putting in your truck bed but that's a uh, that's pretty much it for right now uh, I used grandma's mask today when I was getting all the rust off but once I replace the bushings and repaint it all it should be pretty structurally sound I'm waiting to go get some steel and some gas because I think I'm gonna try and do some welding stuff on here to where I can put like gas cans and other things before I paint it but other than that it's going pretty good I took this apart the other day and kind of greased it and whatnot it's doing pretty good but other than that, we're doing pretty good. It's coming along. I think this is the most important part, really, but I gotta wait until I get my steel in before I'm gonna cut this off because I won't, don't wanna make it non-movable in case, you know, something comes up where I do have to move it. But it's coming along pretty good, I think. It's kind of a rough look of it, but all right. 